hey y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel you can call me new if you didn't already know and in today's video we are putting together my bookshelf finally chose i am kind of picky and this one i did want it to be like a certain look so i'm really happy i found it i'll give you some tips on how to style your bookshelf keep watching I'm so happy um it didn't take that long it took like maybe 25 minutes probably would have been a lot faster if i wasn't filming but um, i do recommend using a drill for some of the screws like not these kind obviously but like some of these because the screwdriver that it came with kind of just really hurt to screw it in it would have taken forever so but you have to be careful with pieces like this with like this this kind of wood it's very thin and it can crack very easily so be careful if you do use a drill but i'm so happy that the placement of the shelf it does not block the thermometer and it looks so good and now we're gonna go ahead and style it just also oh i gotta put some more screws away the doors are soft closed and i thought that was such a nice touch like yeah we see that in the kitchen a lot but not necessarily on furniture so I love that. So to kind of help silence this, it is going to make it stick out just a bit, I think. I'm going to try, but I'm going to put some um, things so that they don't scratch up the floor. I'm going to try that just so it doesn't, well, hold on. So it doesn't kind of make that, that noise. Let's get to work. Okay, so I went shopping about a whole lot of different decor items so we can see what's gonna go ahead and work for this. 
So one of the main purposes for a bookshelf would be to house books. Um, you obviously don't have to. It could just be for decor, for pictures, whatever. You don't even have to put books on here at all. But if you do have books that you want to put here, you can put them on any shelf. And you can either just stack them like so, make them a lot neater. You can color coordinate them or you can stand them like this. Now, these are standing, which is okay, but obviously with movement and all that stuff, they're gonna fall down. So what you wanna have is some book ends. And just because they're there just to hold the books doesn't mean they shouldn't look pretty. They shouldn't have some style. These are so heavy. Very, very, very good quality. I found them at Home Goods on clearance, first of all. When I tell you, like, the cashier was literally struggling to wrap them and to put them in the back, they're so heavy. And because they're heavy and because I do have a child in the household, I would actually put this on the bottom shelf because I don't want this to accidentally fall down or, you know, she's going to grab something. And I mean, it won't, doesn't seem like it would move, but just in case, safety first. I'm telling you, these are like solid marble. Doesn't really say, but these, these are pretty cool. But I'll show you up here, but if I were to put the books with the bookends on here, it would go on the bottom. So I bought a lot of different pieces just to see what would work. Um, and that's the thing too. You can always return something. If you don't like it, return it. Don't just keep it if you don't like it. Next, I think I'm going to go ahead and put the plant up and then I'm just going to start doing stuff. So this plant I got from Target. You can kind of hide the thermostat with this, so that's kind of cool. Um, it's obviously a full plant. You could put a real plant up there if you want. It's not getting enough sunlight, so for me, a fake plant works. So this does not fit. Dang. You would have to go at the top, which is okay. This is why I kind of also wanted something with openness so taller items can go here. I thought that was so interesting and so funny. Like, I think it's a guy. It could be a girl. I don't know. Whoever looked like they going through it. And I saw that and I was like, I get it. I get it. So I had to literally get it. <laughs> one option so however you style your bookshelf one for me i really don't feel like there is a wrong way to style everyone has their own preferences you can't say just because you don't like it or it's not the norm that it's wrong like everyone literally just has their own style so but advice you do want to invite textures a hint of color so because i have my books that's pretty much where all the color is coming from but if you want something more neutral, that's fine. Add a pop of greenery just to add some color. And heights. Heights is another good thing because with design, you don't want to just like look at something and then look away. It doesn't really capture you. It doesn't keep you. You want the eyes to be moving so that you can grab the person's attention. So height, texture, color, and you know, certain funky designs. So not only was this really good quality, but like, it has this really cool design on here 
that also happens to match this stand that I have the candles on. Things do not have to match. Things can be absolutely eclectic, but I just kind of like that. I love this face because just by looking at it without having to touch it, there's so much texture in here. There's height from there. Then we have the balance from the Christmas trees. I got these from Target. They're so cute. They're like ceramic. So cute with a little simple design. Then I split apart the books and then put the plant in the middle. A picture frame. You can add family photos or just something artistic with the two candles on the side. And then I added this basket with the throw inside. I wouldn't necessarily, again, it could be any color, but this is the only color um, blanket that I had that could actually fit in this basket. I showed you different ways to style a bookshelf. Again, there is no right or wrong way. If you like it, you like it. It's in your house, so you're the one that's going to have to look at it. People who aren't staying in your house really shouldn't have an opinion, but that's just my opinion. But now I'm going to just show you guys how I styled it. The way that I'll probably be keeping it, of course, I'll probably add different decor depending on the season. <laughs> So if you remember from my fall vlog, I was looking for these cute candles that literally look like latte cups. They're so cute. I just got to take the tag off of it. But because like I said, homie is going through something. So I gave him some coffee that might help him feel better. <laughs> I like the plant at the top just because it's kind of separating the colors here. But I just, I don't know. I, I kind of like it at the top there. Then I have a... <laughs> A picture of my daughter and I on her first, technically her first like roller coaster <laughs> at Legoland. It's just hilarious. And then those two Christmas trees I got from Target. The books, remember I said I wanted them to go like all the way on the bottom. I feel like this is low enough where no one's going to get hurt. But it's also not too low where I'm just going to not pay attention to the books. These candles here, they came with this. I'll probably, you know, take it off. But it's still fall right now and I think that actually looks pretty cute so I'm going to leave it on. Um, and then you could just take it off or turn it around like I did this one down here. And then I just stuck this elephant in front. It just reminds me of my mom. She loves elephants. And then on the bottom shelf I just kept a smaller bowl, kept the beads and one single candle in here. Real quick, I um, forgot to add my automatic air freshener, so I kind of just tucked it behind the plant here. You can definitely see it when you're on this side, which I don't think it looks bad, but when you're looking at it straight on, you don't really, really see it. I mean, you might see it now because I pointed it out, and then from here, you don't really see it at all. But I have it facing this way so that the air freshener will come out this way and reach the living room, but I didn't really want it on any other shelf. And I think it's better for it to be at the top so that the air freshener can go up and then flow down. So I actually kind of like that it's hidden. And my mom gave this to me like so long ago, but it has like cute little leaf design on it too. So it kind of goes with the plant. 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. I just wanna thank you so much for watching if you've watched thus far. If you got any inspiration from this, let me know in the comments down below or anything, any ideas that you saw that you might switch it up, let me know how you would do it. Let me know which design you liked, if any. If you'd like this video, please give it a like with your thumbs, comment down below, and subscribe. Again, thank you so much for watching. Have a great night, morning, day, week, week, and peace.